Hi there, and welcome back to my channel, The Sunday Cook. So picture this, you've just had a really long day, you've come home from work, and you're struggling to work out what you're gonna make for dinner. Plus, it's been super hot. We've been having a little bit of a heat wave. So the idea of cooking in a hot kitchen like mine is, well, I'm not quite keen on that idea. So anyways, because we've got to eat um, and something that's not too complicated and easy to make. So I was thinking, ooh, let's make a salad. I just want something fresh. So my salad won't be boring. So tonight I am making a roast chicken salad with lots of different things. I've some lentils what else do I have these these lamb lettuces these are my favorite I love them because they're kind of sweet and um, they have a bit of a bite I've got some some mozzarella cheese I've got some sugar snaps uh, I've got some mint I've got a grapefruit uh, I had a leftover avocado from yesterday that needs using and then I found these um, uh, they're like, they're made out of sweet potato. I don't know if you've ever seen this, but I'll put the link to um, in the description below for where I found these. Um, but these are based on, these are like um, wraps, but they're made out of uh, sweet potato. Interesting, different. I've got a red chili that was hanging around my <coughs> larder, and then I've got two little tomatoes that I need to use. <laughs> and I think that's about it. I've got some other ingredients that I'm going to use for my dressing, but for now, stay tuned. And if you like this episode and you like this um, this style of cooking, especially for the summer, I think what I'm gonna be doing uh, moving forward, at least for the remainder of the summer, is come up with recipes that are just for hot weather eating because um, I can't eat heavy foods when it's this hot. And you can see I'm, I'm sweating a little bit which is really annoying because it doesn't look well on the camera, but uh, yeah, anyways. So if you like it, please um, th thumbs up. And if you want to see more than of this style of cooking, just make sure you leave a comment. Leave a comment below, below. And, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And also don't forget to hit the little, little bell button because the bell button notifies you every time I upload and I know I haven't been very consistent mm -hmm. well, but you know why. Um, if you follow me on Instagram I'll also put the link to that and if you follow me on my Facebook you'll also see why I've been so busy and not cooking all that much anyways let's get cooking or assembling or let's go so first up is my pink grapefruit I'm just gonna peel it with my knife and I'm just gonna follow the curvature of the fruit um, what you'll see also is I'm using a very sharp knife and the way that I'm handling my grapefruit is I'm holding it like I would ho hold a tennis ball I think that's the easiest way to describe it and I'm using the white pith or the membrane between each segment as my guide there you go and then with the pith or the membrane that's left over I'm just giving it a really good squeeze so I can extract all of that wonderful juice pink grapefruit is naturally sweet it has a bit of bitterness but it's naturally sweet and it's a great um, th substitute to vinegars if you want to be you making a rather fruity style of dressing so as you can see, I'm prepping my chili. I'm using a red chili, but you can use uh, other chilies that you prefer. Uh, I probably wouldn't go down the scotch bonnet route. Probably a little bit too spicy. I've added two tablespoons of light olive oil. And in my mortar and pestle, I've um, added some palm sugar. Of course, you can use brown sugar. And I've added that to my grapefruit, my oil, and my salt and pepper, and my chilies give it a good stir taste now I noticed that in this particular dressing I needed something really bright something a little bit sharp to counteract with the sweetness from my grapefruit so I've added the juice of one lime don't throw away the uh, the limes after you squeeze them and I'll tell you why in a few moments 
I've got my two little tomatoes. They were hanging around the refrigerator for quite a bit of time. Um, and you can notice they're a bit soft, but they're super ripe, super juicy, and perfectly, you know, perfect to use. I'm preparing my avocado, and you might have seen loads of other YouTube videos showing how to de-stone an avocado and how to remove the skin. Um, it's so simple. As you can see, I've used uh, the wider part of my knife and um, used it to twist the stone. And then my spoon, I'm using a soup spoon. Don't use a teaspoon, you won't get anywhere. A soup spoon is perfect because for this size avocado, avocado, it slides nicely between the skin and the flesh. So remember those lime skins? I'm squeezing the remainder of that lime all over my avocado to prevent it from oxidizing or growing brown. Sugar snaps, they are being covered with uh, boiling water fresh from a freshly boiled kettle. And then I'm gonna blanch them for about 20, well, for about two minutes, and then plunge them into some ice water to retain their greenness. Now with my chicken breasts, these chicken breasts were made in advance, I uh, roasted them in the oven, just seasoned them salt and pepper, a little bit of olive oil in a very hot oven with the skins on, and then left it to cool. Now, for this recipe, I, of course, you remove the skin, uh, especially if you've made your chicken breasts the night before. So remove the skin because the skin is just awful. But I left the skin to roast my chicken breasts to keep them nice and uh, not dry. <laughs> so on my plate, I'm scattering around my lamb's lettuce, then followed with some brown lentils. Of course, use any greens, any pulses that you desire. You don't need to follow this recipe to the tea, but I happen to have a can of lentils, so I'm using that. And then I'm taking away some leaves from a couple sprigs of fresh mint. And I love mint in this because it just, get again, it refreshes everything. It just gives your taste buds a completely different uh, dimension, a different level, uh, a different layer to tantalize those taste buds. And then it just is a, it's a case of adding all of your other ingredients. So I've got my avocado, I've got my sliced um, chicken breast, I'm gonna add some, uh, what do I have? Oh yes, here, some uh, pickled beetroot. Now, you'll notice that at the very beginning of this episode, I did mention every single ingredient. Um, I apologize for that. I should probably do this with a script, but um, if you want to have the full list of ingredients, then don't forget, it's in the description below. And if you have suggestions for other ingredients or you've done something different um, but similar and you want to share that, well, I'd love to hear about it. Just add it in the comment box and uh, tag me in or feel free to visit my Instagram account. It's also called The Sunday Cook Official and you'll be able to uh, put in your comments there. I'm always, always open to suggestions as well. Tell me what other recipes you love to eat during the summertime. Really love to hear that. So I'm coming to the end of my assembly of this glorious little salad. Well, little salad. I have to say, it's quite a, it was quite a substantial salad. Um, perfect for an evening meal. The dressing is being drizzled over, and I think you'll notice that this dressing is actually quite thin. And the main difference between this one and maybe a, a dressing that you'll find at the supermarket is it doesn't have any additives. And some of these additives that you find in bottled uh, dressing tend to contain thickeners, which is what makes it gloopy. And I didn't want gloopy. And then lastly, some sriracha mayonnaise. Love that stuff. Um, and then with my sweet potato wraps, I'm just toasting them lightly in a very hot, dry pan. There's no need to add any fat or oil. And that's it. You can slice them into little triangles or fold them like I did. Um, and it's such a great way to, to eat. You can wrap bits of your salad inside the potato wrap and gobble it down.
really enjoyed making this video for you, and I certainly enjoyed eating the salad. And I hope that you get to enjoy making the salad at home, and um, that you will keep cool during this mini heat wave that we're all experiencing. I hope to see you the next time in the next episode. Don't forget, we are on Instagram as well as Facebook. If you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. Now for the outtakes. <laughs> We've been having a little bit of a mini wheat, wa wheat wave. Actually, let me show you because. Oh, no. I'll show you in a minute. Sorry again. I've got some what, ooh, what, sugar snaps on the floor. Sorry, right, but I'm afraid salads can be a little bit boring. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry again. But uh, not in my kitchen. <sighs> Sorry. <sighs> They're so noisy. Have you ever. Have you ever. Sorry, they're kids. We're different. Interesting.